Good morning, and thanks for attending Washington's Creative Forces Summit. We're proud to support our soldiers and their families and the extended military community of Joint Base Lewis McCord. We know soldiers from JBLM have been de uh, deployed all over the world. They're in the Middle East, Europe, anywhere duty calls. And they're also helping to fight wildland fires today in the Pacific Northwest. Some 200 active duty soldiers are training and being deployed to fight a complex of 14 wildfires in the Umpqua National Forest in Idaho. The Washington National Guard has just been activated to join the wildfire fight here in Washington. So we're grateful for their service, both at home and abroad. The conflicts they face are stressful and challenging, and that's pretty obvious. And they can leave invisible wounds that not only affect the soldier, but also their loved ones for decades. So thanks to the National Endowment for the Arts and its partners, the Department of Defense and the Department of Veterans Affairs, a national network of care is being built to take care of our injured service members, our veterans and their families. And the Creative Forces Healing Arts Network marries the clinical arts uh, and therapies in military medical facilities with community-based arts opportunities that can help ease the invisible wounds and challenges. Madigan Army Medical Center at JBLM is part of that network. They're doing an incredible job. Colonel Beverly Scott, who leads the Intrepid Spirit Transition Program at Madigan, will tell you more about the program later this morning. The NEA has asked the Washington State Arts Commission to help make connections between Colonel Scott's clinical program and the many arts-based healing opportunities here in Washington. Our goals are the same, to help wounded warriors, veterans, and their families find creative paths of recovery at home and in our communities. So thanks for joining with the NEA on this important and critical mission. This is a very high priority for the state of Washington. I'm proud that our state has been recognized as leading the nation and providing a transition to new employment as people muster out of the service. And I think we can be proud of what's going on right here at JBLM and your efforts. We hope you are. Good luck.